a good buddy of mine, Brandon Wimbush, ended up going there and having success. So I'm happy for that. So how did you end up landing on uh, coming to Tuscaloosa? Because you've got a pretty interesting story. You know, you came here and uh, you were kind of battling out with Jake Coker. And then you have a medical scare. You have a cut on your small intestine. And then you kind of take some time off, come back. And then Jalen Hurts kind of takes over. Where was your mind at? What were you thinking? I'm sure you were pretty frustrated. Yeah, man. Um, looking back, it's just, it's weird. Um, it all happened so fast, you know, like I was so anxious, um, to get in the mix and to get on campus and I, I was confident in my ability, um, to go in there and compete, uh, at the time, looking back, honestly, like, I, I don't know if I was very confident in my preparation just because it was, it was also new to me. Um, like learning a new offense at, at a high level, you know, Lane Kiffin's offense isn't, you know, I'm pretty sure I think, I think I have a playbook up there. I think it's like right there. Um, you know, that wasn't something that was, uh, it, or it was completely new to me. It was a lot of information and I was trying to, uh, progress in that offense as quick as I could while, um, uh, being able to show my skill set. So, um, my true freshman year, I just really had to grind through a uh, practice squad and make sure I gave the defense the best look I could every week. And I mean, I really gave like a hundred percent at every practice in that. And I think that went a long way to the point where I started kind of working my way into the mix um, about halfway through the year, actually when we, when we lost to Ole Miss and a, like a week or two after that, when I was still kind of like, you know, I wasn't getting first team reps, but I was starting to rotate with the second team. Uh, yeah, I got a random cut in my intestine. I didn't even know about, and uh, two weeks went by, I ended up losing like half the blood of my body, getting checked in the ER and uh, lost like 20 pounds. And so um, that year just kind of got blurred out. You know, I, I, I still finished the rest of the year doing practice squad and, um, bust my butt doing as much as I could. And then that off season came, um, uh, I knew I was going to be in, in contention for the starting role just because Jake left and it kind of opened the door for everyone to come and compete. And, uh, you know, like my, my personal growth and development from my true freshman year to my retro freshman year was, in my opinion, it was pretty drastic. Like I was able to finally start putting the, the pen to the paper as far as the preparation goes and understanding the playbook and um, understand, you know, the fronts and the coverages and just, just putting it all together. Uh, I thought I had a, a really good fall camp uh, to the point where I, you know, I obviously started the first game and um, was confident in that. And then, you know, the first game happened and, uh, you know, the first two drives obviously weren't ideal. We went three and out and, um, you know, like that was kind of it. And then Jalen went in and did his thing and, um, obviously capitalized on the moment. It was just, it was one of those things that, you know, I, I, I wasn't able to take advantage of those, those two drives that I got. And because of that, you know, it was, it was from that point on Jalen's job. And then what ultimately kind of led to the decision of me transferring uh, what was, what was really tough for me to comprehend at that time when I was at that age was uh, just a sense of clarity as to why things really happened, you know, and I, I can look back now and, and live in the land of hypotheticals, but at the time um, it, it was tough for me to understand why I wasn't really given transparency and, um, and that's really all I searched for because one of the biggest things I wanted coming out of high school was a relationship with my head coach or, uh, or my offensive coordinator. And, you know, coach Saban is, uh, well known for being a defensive guy and I can't fault him for that, but 90% of his time is spent with the defense. Um, so because of that, I just didn't really have that great of relationship with him to the point where I felt, as though we could like trust our trust each other in, in communication. Um, and then coach Kiffin, uh, at the time, which is kind of distant to an extent, if that's a, if that's a word I want to use, like he was just, you know, very focused, very busy. Uh, so, you know, at the time of conflict, when I looked for some sort of clarity and, and, uh, 
like where any person would kind of fall back on a relationship and be like, okay, well, I trust you. You know, your plan for me is, um, is difficult to understand, but I get it. I just didn't really have that reassurance. And at the time I found out that like, if I were to leave, I'd be eligible that time next year. And so I was like on a, on a clock. And in my mind, if I waited one more week, I'd have to sit that week out next year. And so, you know, shotgun decision ended up leaving, uh, probably the least politically correct thing I could have done at the time. Uh, now, now it's accepted a little differently with the transfer portal and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, man, it wasn't very well received, obviously, um, from the coaching staff, from, uh, the fan base, from media, uh, that was a really interesting time, um, going through that and, and being at the age where I was so vulnerable and, um, you know, having so many people express their opinions on a decision that was made, uh, where 99% of all 17, 18, 19 year old choices kind of just get swept under the rug because they're a kid. Mine was posterized for the world. And, uh, like I'm so thankful for everything that did happen because like that was able to kind of forge me into the person that I am now, um, aside from football, but looking back, man, it was just a, a crazy run of events. Sorry. I don't want to get caught talking too much, but like, that's just like the, the fast forwarded version of, of what got through that process.